Hey guys, I want to show you real quick how to install Windows Media Center onto Windows Professional 8. If you don't have Windows 8, if you just have the Home Edition, it's a 99 bucks to get the Media Center add-on pack, what they call it. But if you have Windows 8 Pro, it's only $9. And I actually think it's really worth it if you think about recording it on TV, which I'll do in another video. So I want to quickly take you through this process. You can also just Google how to install Windows Media Center onto Windows 8, and it will take you to this Microsoft page where you can see more about it. But let me just take you through the video real quick and explain how to do it. Basically, go to the tile view, and from here, just start typing add space features. You'll get no results. Make sure you click on the settings option number two, and then you'll see you get this option here at the top, this tile icon here. I'm going to click on that. And I'm going to get this window that pops up on my screen now because I've already started the process. I've entered my credit card information. I've already entered my personal information. So Windows is not luckily taking me through that entire same process again, but it knows that I'm at the point of making the decision and it's going to, it's going to want to restart my machine and do a few things here, which I haven't done before. So I'm kind of doing this live and I figured let me just record this and show you guys how it works. So I'm going to lose my screencast here for a little bit. If anything significant happened, I'll let you know, but it should be pretty straightforward. So see you on the flip side. Okay, good. We're back in. It literally took about two minutes. My machine rebooted twice. We're back here and it says, thank you, you're done. Your PC is ready to go. Although I don't see any obvious media center icons, uh, but there. Yeah. So let's go back to the tile view and I'm just going to type in media and now I get the media center option here so just search and I'm gonna click on that and it will obviously launch media center and I'm, I'm assuming this this experience will be very similar to Windows 7 I don't know much about if they change this or if it has been improved at all you know I think one of the big advantages of media center um, a lot of people might not know this but if you if you're on a Xbox or a PlayStation or even have a laptop that you can turn into what they call a media center extender, you have the ability to actually record TV onto your home computer system. If you have a TV card or some type of a TV tuner card, which I'm planning on doing soon, I'd be able to actually receive digital cable right on my computer. And from what I've heard, some of these cards even allow you to now record up to four shows at the same time. And obviously your hard drive on your computer system is much larger than the hard drive that ships inside of a set-top box that comes with cable. As far as I know, that recording functionality only works with proper cable companies. It doesn't work with satellite providers yet. So you need Comcast or Time Warner or one of those to be able to do this. And uh, once you can actually record live video, you can then use your media center extenders, whether it be your PlayStation or Xbox, by just simply launching the apps on those. And some cases are actually built in. I know that the Xbox just has it built in as a feature because it's another Microsoft product. And you can just simply hook up to your home PC. It will ask you for some type of four letter key that you have to enter and once you've connected your extender to your home system media center where the signal comes into you can stream that data right onto your HDTV very fast very cool the whole notion behind the Windows Media Center experience is that it comes with this really cool thumbnail driven guide um, and it's super fast I've seen demos of this work it's it's 10 times, 20 times faster than your Time Warner interface. And, it, you know, if you buy the card that I'm talking about, the TV tuner card, they will come with the remote control as well. In some cases, you have to sort of look around if you want to buy an RF radio frequency remote. But a lot of them come with infrared remotes. And you'll be able to have the same remote control functionality um, that you do with your normal Time Warner or Comcast remote. The part I haven't shown yet is the activation. You did receive a new key, as I posted in one of my pop-ups there, one of my call-outs earlier on this video. You would have received a CD key, a new product CD key, that you need to reactivate Windows because it's now not considered Windows 8 Pro anymore. It's now considered Windows 8 Pro with Media Center. 
So if you go to the bottom right corner of your screen, you'll notice there's a little flag with an X icon. You can't see it on my screen because of my resolution, which is a little different than yours, but you can't miss it. It brings up this little box, which I'll just screenshot and show you real quick. That's what it looks like. Um, it's in the bottom right corner of your screen. It's got the little flag. It says one important message, activate Windows Now important. So when you click on that box, activate Windows Now important, you get this. Let's see what happens. Um, you know, you would expect to just be able to click on activate, right? And then just go to the next screen. It's going to come up here and say activating Windows. However, it's not that easy. It's never that easy. It actually gives you an error code. And all kinds of stuff. <laughs> it also expects you to go to the control panel to learn more about ways to activate. So, unfortunately, this is not very streamlined. It would have been cool if Windows said, you know, we noticed you installed Windows Media Center, click here, reactivate, and enter the new code and be done with it. But no, they make it a little harder for you. So, I'm going to have to manually now go to my control panel and find the activation section in Windows and repaste my new key in there. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. I'm glad I ran into this error so I could document it while I'm doing this video, actually. What you want to do is hit your Windows key and the R button to bring up the Run menu on your screen. And just inside the Run menu, put in CMD so you can open up a command prompt, which will bring up your good old, what they now call PowerShell in Windows, Command Prompt PowerShell. And then you want to enter this command into the PowerShell. I'm just going to select that and copy it. SLUI.exe space 3. Go into here. You can actually click on this little icon on the top left, edit, and say paste, which you can't see on my screen now, but there it is. And I'm just going to press enter. And this will actually allow me to enter my new product key. It will pop up this box or window and I can now go and paste my new key in here that I wrote down earlier. I just copied it off screen and I'm just going to paste it in here and say activate. Okay, and I'm still getting the same error. Interesting. So the next thing I'm going to do, which seems like the logical thing to do, I just remembered, let's just disable our interactivity here. I'm going to close this window. The best way to do it is to just unplug your network cable from the back of your computer. Okay, so after you've unplugged your network cable to deactivate your internet connectivity, go to the control panel and just type in activate, which will bring up your Windows activation under Action Center. There's a Windows activation button. Click on that. Now, when you do it this time, Windows will recognize that you don't have an internet connection and will automatically create a second button here that says activate by phone. If you still have an internet connection that's active, you will not have this button available. So now I'm going to click on activate by phone and it's going to allow me to actually call this number and read these codes to them over the phone and then they'll read you a different code back via phone as well. It takes a while, so I'm not going to record this process. It's boring, but let's see if this works and I'll restart my video. So resuming this and that worked. I think the reason that happened for me on my system is because I've recently installed Bitdefender Total Security 2013. Obviously, the security is a little too total. I'm assuming that's it, but it's supposed to work if you have any internet connection. So a little bit of a distraction here. It's pretty easy to do that phone number validation. It's all automated. You just read the keys over the phone or punch them in on your phone. And it, it took about three minutes for me to activate my computer without needing to talk to anybody on Microsoft side. So I think we're all done. I'm not going to really get into this too much now. I kind of want to leave this as is, but this is how you get to Media Center. I may do another video later explaining how to install a TV tuner card into your system when that arrives. Looking forward to that and I will take you through the process of actually getting HDTV set up on Windows 8 Professional.